Well, tonight, Burlington City Council taking steps to support the LGBTQ plus community, and it comes after concerns about hate speech in the city. NBC5 Sid Bule joins us now from the newsroom with the message we're expecting to hear tonight. Sid. Alice Bryan, the city and concerned citizens have already been doing their part, taking matters into their own hands to get rid of hateful stickers for the past few months. But now the city council is looking to take it one step further. Transphobia is not welcome in Burlington. That's the message going before Burlington City Council as they consider a resolution aimed at supporting the queer community and condemning transphobia. A member of the queer community myself um, is deeply uh, important to me that um, my queer and trans siblings feel seen, they feel heard, and they feel protected by the city. And the resolution resulting in part from stickers with transphobic messaging found in public places. Unwelcoming messages in uh, parks, around the schools in the area, uh, even around the pediatrician offices, places where, where kids would be. Part of what the resolution calls for is observing Trans Day of Visibility on March 31st each year, working to amplify community voices, including flying pride flags on city property and continuing to track hate speech, including graffiti like the stickers Olivia Taylor works to pull down. It's already hard to be a kid. I think you're already figuring stuff out and seeing messages of, of unwelcome and hate every day uh, is going to to cause harm. Taylor has spent months removing the stickers, especially in the new North End. But she's not alone. Community members can post graffiti or stickers on the C-Click Fix app, and the city will help with cleanup. As soon as a C-Click Fix is posted, it actually gets routed directly to a work order, and our crew knows about it, and they can take care of it. Outright Vermont says no matter what, it's important to know that love is always greater than fear and hate. You are not alone. You matter, you are beautiful just as you are. We believe you and there are people just like you that are out there rooting for you and who recognize all of your awesomeness. Burlington Mayor Moreau Weinberger sent a statement today saying the resolution has his full support and it's the Burlington spirit he wants people to see and know. Live in the newsroom, Sid Bule, NBC5 News. Sid, thanks. Another part of the resolution calls on Chittenden County's state legislators to examine the current hate crime statute. Chittenden County Representative Emma Mulvaney Stanick sent a statement to NBC5 News saying in part, with the growing attacks against the LGBTQ plus community around the country through proposed legislation and hate crimes, we must remember that these hate stickers in any Inaction to enforce existing laws to stop the stickers creates a harmful environment. Adding that she is currently researching options to strengthen state hate crime laws to better protect schools and organizations who serve communities with minorities.